into a million pieces. The death of the electric car has left the market to enthusiasts like John Wayland. You know, it's a uh, why burn gasoline when you can uh, run on American electrons? Exactly. No petrol since 1980. He and his friends have converted their old petrol cars to electric power. All batteries. The whole car is battery, Sharon. Did you hear him turn it on? Uh-uh. It's silent. What's wrong with that car over there? It's got a gasoline engine. She can't that won't that go. won't start. This is cute. And these are all the batteries. There's oh, and the whole front end stuck out them too. How come up you on? What do you think? This I cool. think it's pretty cool. Have you seen one before? No, no, I have not. Not full electric. And I love the way he's got it in an old Datsun. Uh, did, did, did you know that the uh, GM and the big companies were going to make them at one stage and stop making them? No, I didn't. But you know, if they if they make these, then that puts a whole bunch of millionaires out of business, doesn't it? So what do you think of it? I like it. It's good at me. I know. What's going on here today? Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five electric cars on charge right now. Good. All, all at the same time. It's the Wayland EV juice bar. <laughs> right. You know, this is where you come to suck amps. Yeah, right. This is Suck Amp Central. If you're looking here right now, this is the mighty Zilla Z2K. The what's that do? That is the motor controller that divides the amperage from the batteries to the motor. In other words, it's a speed controller. It's like a giant light dimmer, only this one happens to be a 600,000 watt dimmer, 0.6 megawatts. Right. Yeah, it's a lot of juice. This is the zombie. This is the white zombie. This happens to be the world's quickest street legal electric door slammer. If you notice, it too has a Zilla controller, a mighty Z2K. Mm -hmm. it came from the factory with 69 horsepower and about 70 foot-pounds of torque. It now has about 300 horsepower and 772 foot-pounds of torque. Because it has so much torque, we don't need a transmission. Electric motors have full torque at zero RPM, and they have an abundant amount of torque. So what do you do here with your electric cars? You've been involved with them for 25 years. You've got your friends around here today, tuning them up for a bit of racing tonight. What's behind all that? <laughs> well, first of all, we don't want to wait for Detroit or Toyota or Nissan. We're not going to wait. We convert our own cars in our backyard. It's not that hard. As long as you can turn a ranch, do it, know a little bit about electricity, you take out all that pollution belching stuff out, you put in electric motor, a motor controller, charger, a little bit of hard work, and you got yourself an electric car. It's not that hard to do. So what we're doing today, though, is that we've turned into, we call ourselves evangelists uh, with a capital EV, we like to show the general public that the electric car isn't dead. Every time we hear of these negative spins going on, we hear news reports that are inaccurate, we like to show people, well, I'm sorry, you're being misinformed. John Wayland and his mates are obsessed by the same passions as other car nuts, power and speed. Tonight, they're off to that mecca of revheads, the drag racing track. This car will be racing tonight. Uh, it runs a very quick 12.1 seconds in the quarter mile and uh, generally jerks the tires off the ground and keeps them up in the air for about 50 feet on launch. All on, all on electricity? All on electricity, man. It's the amps, you know. We've got the amps. John's little white Datsun, with a mighty Zilla power converter under the bonnet, is about to show a petrol car a thing or two. And we're up running our favourite electric car, the uh, right lane. Crazy the EV enthusiasts have obviously solved the power problem. They also say they now have a battery that will last between four and five hundred kilometers without a charge. 
But is anybody in Detroit or Washington, D.C. really listening? Suck AF Central. That's, that's the line we're all going to, going to remember. David Brill, filming and reporting from California.